Wake up, Tack! Wake up! You've been asleep for too long. Come on, Tack! Snap out of it! He's been like this for days. I've tried everything. I'm at my wit's end, Locke! Oh, creepy. His eyes are open, but he's still snoozing. So, the great and mighty warrior of the Poopanunu people is taking the world's longest nappy. Well, if he's tired, I can take over being great and mighty, mighty and great. Great, great, mighty, 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 great, great, mighty, mighty, <laughs> great, 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 <sighs> mighty. I need helpful ideas, Locke, about waking Tack up. Right, right, mm. gotcha. Hey, you, wakey, wakey, good morning, sunshine, rising, sunshine. Open up those eyes of yours, sleepyhead! Stop it, Locke. I've already tried that. Okay, plan beta. You grab their nose, they can't breathe, they wake up real fast. Locke, I think... I think he's turning blue! No, Tax always looked a little blue. Not that blue! Oh, he's got drool coming out of his mouth. What's wrong with him anyhow, Jabalba? I don't know. But he's been talking out loud in his sleep. I think Tack has been having the same dream over and over. And in this dream, he finds himself in a strange world. Hello? Anybody here? Break it. Oh. Huh? Tak, the great and mighty warrior of the Pupu Nunu people. He who is lucky enough to have fulfilled the prophecy and defeated the powerful shaman, Tleilok. What? Uh, who are you? What is this place, and can you turn that light down? This is the dream world. You've been here many times before in your dreams, but this time, you have been called here for a purpose. Several days' travel from here is a beautiful princess who has been cruelly imprisoned within a dark and terrifying castle. She is held captive by one of the most vicious beasts of the dream world. Wields the world destroying power of the staff of dreams. Sadly, the princess has no hope of rescue from anyone except for you, Tak. And if you should save her from her plight, happiness will be restored to her kingdom, and the powers of darkness will be forever diminished. What say you, great and mighty warrior of the Pupu Nunu people? Will you bring your wits, your strength? And your courage to bear on this sacred mission? Nah, don't think so. Uh, no, 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 wait! Hello! You're not supposed to do that. Get back here! Maybe you don't understand, Tack. 
Let me run through it again. <clears throat> Several days travel from here. There's a beautiful princess who has been cruelly imprisoned within a dark and... I heard you, but the princess thing? Come on, that's the oldest one in the book. People always say that kind of stuff in dreams. What's the point? I'm probably gonna wake up any minute. No, Tag. If you do not accept this challenge, you will never wake up again. Oh, oh, okay. Well then, I'll do it. Good. I promise you. In the fulfillment of this quest, you will learn something new about yourself, Tag. Hmm. Something new about myself, huh? Okay, fine. Where's this princess? Not so fast, Tag. You will need training before you can complete this quest. The dream world is new to you. It has many dangers. Right, now then, pay attention. Using my masterful command of Juju magics, I can raise up harmless training figures from the dream world landscape. You can recognize them by their blobby shape. So, let's just call them blobbies, shall we? Press the X button to jump across this gap. You can jump further by double jumping. Press the X button twice to double jump. These glowing orbs of light are mana spheres. Pick them up as you go. Follow me. down the X button. See that floating lobby there? You must throw to destroy it. You can throw by pressing the triangle button. your way through the dream world, always look to destroy these blobbies. Doing so will prove your mastery of a concept and allow you to continue. has the power of nightmares. He has summoned a pit fiend to try and stop you. 
The Pit Fiend has swallowed the Rift and your only escape from the Dream World. You can defeat it by destroying its tentacles. Summoned some lonely imps to try and stop you from continuing. Come on, Jabalba. A little bit of juju smelling salts never hurt anybody. <coughs> it's working, Jabalba. He's waking up. <coughs> juju smelling salts do it every time. I remember back when I was uh, wrestling. Uh, what's wrong with you people? I'm trying to take a little nap here. Tech, you've been asleep for 16 days. So? Does that mean crazy people can come and shove their moist, stinking pit in my face? Yep, sure does. And that's not all. I've been sleeping for 16 days? You were dreaming. You kept talking about a princess. Princess? <laughs> what princess? That's right. I'm supposed to rescue some princess. She's trapped in the dream world, but how can I do that, Jaboba? Hmm. Well, we'll have to go see my brother, JB. He's an expert in the world of dreams. Oh, you better get going. Wouldn't want anybody else to rescue that princess. Let me guess, you're thinking King Locke, right? Hey, I'm not greedy. I like Prince Locke, too, especially if she's a looker. Uh, Locke, there's no way, uh, how can I put this? Uh, Locke, would you help out the wise and powerful shaman of the Pupununu people by going back to my hut and, uh, uh fetching my other pair of sandals? Uh, I have a very painful bunion. Dogs fetch shoes, Jabalba. Prince Locke's fetch princesses. Ah, but uh, these are the sacred sandals, the most powerful open-toed shoes in the history of magical footwear. Really? Ooh, I'll need those. You go on ahead, I'll catch up. But, Jabulba, you don't have any sacred sandals. Maybe Locke will find me a pair. They sound fantastic. In the meantime... Jabulba? Down here! Yeah. What are you doing? Just hitching a ride. Now, let's set off for my brothers before Locke gets back. <laughs> 